Yes, come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Ms. Kota, why do you wish to join civil service? Sir, I wish to join civil services as it would provide me an opportunity to be part of the government organization. Secondly, the career prospects of civil services are also very aspiring. And lastly, the variety of challenges that civil services has would enable me to recognize and optimize my self potential. So what qualities will you bring to this job? Sir, I think I have integrity and compassion. I'm also emotionally intelligent. And thirdly, I'm a dedicated and hardworking person. Good. This, I believe, is your first attempt because you passed in 2017. Yes. English literature. Yes. Uh, can you tell us why? Uh, is our constitution bulky? Sir, there are several reasons which amount to bulkiness of our constitution. First is the number of articles. We have detailed provisions with regard to them. Second, R is a federal country. However, the constitution of the centre in the state is similar. So the provisions with regard to the state are also there. These are some reasons. Okay. What is judicial review? Judicial review is the provision which enables judiciary to review the law and see the sanctity of the law in compliance with the constitutional provisions. Does it make judiciary uh, supreme uh, and disturbs the balance of power among institutions? No sir, in our constitution, balance of power between all the organs have been provided. Judicial review only ensures that the law stands in the constitutional uh, compliance and does not make judiciary supreme among other institutions. Okay. Can you uh, tell us about a few judgments, uh, recent ones, which uh, um, upheld some of the rights against state action or laws which were there or administrative decisions? So the latest judgments which upheld people's right is first the decriminalization of homosexuality. Second is the right to privacy which has been explicitly held under Article 21. Third is with regard to the Sabri Mala uh, case. Um, these are okay. Now, um, there was another on uh, uh, adultery. Adultery was decriminalized. Yes. Uh, why do you think it was decriminalized? Sir, the, provision, the law related to adultery reflects Victorian morality and does not uphold the modern and the progressive society of 21st century and it delimited, it limited women's potential and her authority over her own being. That is why... Why do you say Victorian? Is it still an offence in uh, uh, other countries? No sir, it's not an offence in, in the country, country of origin you said, talked of? Uh, no sir, but when the Victorian rule was there, it was still and back then. What was the basic problem here? So, the basic problem in adultery is that it limits women's uh, authority over her own uh, sexuality and it considered that women is a product or something to be held by uh, a man. It's a man who uh, can decide with regard to women's sexual choices. Okay, can you tell us about this? Uh, there was a uh, Supreme Court judgment on uh, in case of conflict between the Lieutenant Governor and the Delhi Government. What was that judgment? So that judgment upheld the sanctity of the state elected government of Delhi. It aimed at uh, that the aid and advice of the Council of Minister and Chief Minister of Delhi would be founded uh, on the Lieutenant Governor unless in a very rare case comes up wherein the Lieutenant Governor would be having its discretion. Okay, there are three subjects. Uh, what, what are the three subjects which are to, uh, So there are three subjects, Public Order, Police and Lab. Okay, can you tell us about some uh, MGT orders uh, concerning pollution in Delhi? So to curb the menace of air pollution, NGT in the recent times have come up with various orders. First is the uh, graded response action plan which uh, says that there would be certain activities prohibited in case the pollution levels reach uh, certain levels. The second is the uh, with regard to non-plying of the CNG vehicles in Delhi. These are some. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir.
patient, you have emotional intelligence. How does it help in uh, administration? So emotional intelligence enables a person to understand the understand his own emotions and that of people around him. In administration, it is the prime duty to be able to empathize with people's needs and concerns. And in that regard, emotional intelligence would make an administrator capable of fulfilling his duties in the most optimum manner. Okay. Um, what is good governance? Good governance is a way of ensuring the governance with regard to uh, with absolute law and integrity. It includes transparency, accountability, responsiveness, morality, etc. Morality. 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 Hmm. There are some other features. If you have read good governance, there are eight tenets as defined by World Bank. So you mentioned transparency, accountability, consensus building, consensus building or participatory nature, responsive administration. Then what else? Rule of law. Rule of law. Yes. What is rule of law? So rule of law means that the law should be followed in the right spirit. Nobody is above law. Yes. Sorry, sir. Mm. Everybody is equal before law. Yes. Okay. Tell me. How many UTs are there in Union Territories in India? There are seven Union Territories in India. There are some Union Territories with assemblies. Which are there? Delhi and Puducherry. Puducherry. So, okay. Now let me come to, you know, the 73rd and 74th Constitutional Amendment. Ah, you know? Yes, sir. That's what does the offer? The 73rd and 74th Amendment Acts of the Constitution constitutionalize the status of the local bodies at the municipal level and the panchayat level. Mm. So it gave a constitutional status. Then these what bodies. else? Uh, these also have provision with regard to reservation for women at the local level, 33% reservation for women, mm. and reservation also for the people belonging to the backward classes. Not this backward classes, SCSD. SCSD. There is mm -hmm. also a provision of State Finance Commission mm -hmm. which would decide the distribution of finances between the state and the local bodies. It also establishes State Election Commission for election to these local for bodies. For periodic elections. Yes. Okay. You have read about the Gram Swaraj concept of Gandhi. Gram Swaraj concept of Gandhi. Have you read about yes, it? Yes. Is it telling you a different than this local self government? What do you find the difference? Local self government as per our Indian constitution with the amendment provision. Then Gram Swaraj. Gandhiji had advocated for Gram Swaraj. So, sir, Gandhi's, Gandhiji's vision of Gram Swaraj was that the Gram Swaraj should be the only uh, unit in a democratic governance and there should not be a, a larger government, government that we have at the center and the state level. He also believed that the entire power should be devoluted at these local levels to the ground search. However, in the current scenario, we have these local governments as the third tier of the government, which are in the part of the federal system of the central state and then the third tier level of the government. And, the, uh, the, and uh, with regard to the autonomy and authority as well, the current Panchayati Ra systems are less as uh, compared to the ground Suraj as was envisioned by Mahatma Gandhi. Little bit more because you know, Gandhiji said there is nothing above this village, Mother Vinda Gram Swaraj. They are the village centric, or you know, entire the north center is village. Yes. Yeah. So, here there is a state government, there is a central government. They are the local self government, means more power. It is democratic decentralization. Democracy yes. is also there with the local self government. Yes. Okay, thank you. You are from Central Delhi. What are the main problems that you see? Now, first is with regard to water. There is disrupt uh, in the water supply. Mm -hmm. Second is with regard to the garbage management. Mm -hmm. Third is with regard to the pollution level, which is part of the general Delhi's pollution. These are some. 
So dealing with pollution, what are the reasons why Delhi is becoming such a polluted city, especially air pollution? Tell me something about it. And there are various reasons with regard to the pollution in Delhi. First is the geography of Delhi. Delhi is a plain city and the air also happens to settle at the lower temperatures. Second is the stubble burning that takes place in the vicinity uh, but because of which pollution is there. Mm-hmm. Third is the Badapur power plant which is there. Fourth are brick clins. Badapur power plant has been closed. It has been closed. I'm sorry. What else? Uh, the brick clins that are there. Yes. Then construction that are regular construction is going to be placed in Delhi. These are some. And then the road dust. The road dust. And the transport. Yes. So yes. Those are all major factors. So how can we address these problems first? And is there any body which has looked into this pollution problem and given directives? And there could be various ways of addressing this pollution. First is the preventive measures, in which, for example, we have closed part of the plant. We can leverage technology for brick cleans, then the Z-based models that are there. Then we can also go for mechanized road cleaning. Yes. Then, uh, then we could have general rationing of number of cars flying on the roads, the Singapore etc. have done. And more important in this regard is the law enforcement and involvement of multiple agencies and coordination. So there is an NGT. What does NGT stand for? Uh, NGT stands for National Green Trust. So have they given some directives regarding pollution in Delhi? Yes, in NCR. Tell me what are the some of the directions that you are aware of. First is that uh, uh, decommissioning of the CNG vehicle, uh, of the uh, uh, diesel vehicles, old diesel vehicles in Delhi. Second, how old? How old? Sorry, ma'am, I'm not um, Secondly, is what with regard to trucks coming into Delhi. Yeah, there's a limitation on the number of the time in which those trucks yes, can fly. Yes. Uh, these are something that. Have they know. also imposed some fines on neighboring states? Sorry, ma'am, I'm not just read that. Now, another problem that we are involved with is safety of women in Delhi. That's a major issue. That's can right. you recommend some steps to improve safety of women? Some practical steps. Uh, some are already being taken by Delhi Police. Mm-hmm. First is the Himmat app that has mm-hmm. enabled women. Second is the women helpline numbers. Third, we require patrolling, effective patrolling, mm-hmm. including women in that okay. case. Then proper infrastructure, for instance, lighting set at yes. night places. Then public transport safety should also be seen. Mm-hmm. These are some. And what issues. about uh, attitudinal change? Yes, ma'am. That's in the schools and colleges. That's that's reach our young boys yes, to respect women. That's one way. The parenting and the moral values. Now we have the Jamuna River. How polluted is it? Now Yamuna River is one of the most polluted rivers in India. And uh, it's the degree of pollution is that there is absolute zero oxygen in most of the uh, areas of Yamuna River, which does not would support any aquatic life. So if you had to uh, give a scheme for cleaning of the river, what would you say? What steps would you identify? Now first would be that we should install and see the maintenance for sewage treatment plant yes. and effluent treatment plants. Second is involving the society. As Delhi government has recently done that it has talked to various uh, saints and school mm-hmm. children to spread awareness with regard to the cleanliness of the river. Third is supporting voluntary organizations. The government should incentivize and support them through capital etc. or to these voluntary organizations. Uh, so we have a major problem during festivals, whether yes. it is you know the Ganpati festival or the Kali Puja festival, and we have these idols which have to be immersed. Yes, what ma'am. can be done in relation to the immersion of idols? Now, for this idea of Surat government, could be, uh, the Gujarat government in Surat mm-hmm. could be adopted. They have ensured that the eco-friendly idols are needed. Yes, that could be done. The second could be people would be encouraged to immerse idols in small ponds in their yes. homes. So, what was the river that has been taken care of in Sudan? Sorry, ma'am. Tapti. The tapti. Okay, what else? The yes. height of the idol should not be beyond a certain Yes, distance. that would also be. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Ms. Gupta. Yes, sir. We have of public administration, right? What role can be played or can be played by the NGOs in public administration? Uh, sir, NGO can play a crucial role in ensuring that the last mile reach of the benefits or the services of the government could reach to the people. Secondly, they could also ensure consensus building 
among uh, these stakeholders. These uh, any instance that comes to your mind where well, NGOs have played a very important role? Yes, sir. With regard to the passing of the right to information bill, the MKSS had played a crucial role in ensuring that right to information becomes a fundamental right of people. Some of the NGOs receive a lot of funds from abroad. Do you think that's a, that should be encouraged or? Should there be any check on that? So funding is very important for NGOs to discharge their duties. Uh, with regard to the foreign contribution, I think regulations should be there, but entire curbing of the foreign uh, funding of the NGO should not be there. There is already a law in the United States. Yes. What is that law? Uh, so there is with regard to uh, the auditing of the NGO that uh, an NGO receiving certain amount of funds would be audited by the CAG. Then they also have to present their financials in, uh, in particular time periods. So strict enforcement of that law should be there. Okay. What is the significance of All India Services? So All India Services envisages at the unity of the country. They work at the centre as well as the state level. So the federal structure would be strengthened with the role of load paid by All India Services. Should there be more All India Services? So with regard to various services, All India Services, new All India Services have been proposed. Public health and uh, judicial services for instance. Um, I think yes, there should be more All India Services because this improves the unity fabric and uh, brings the right and the most uh, brightest talent into these services. The bureaucrat political nexus that, uh, that is coming for a lot of, lot of criticism and also scrutiny. What is your take on that? Sir, so the bureaucrats have to work constantly with the political executives to fulfill the visions that have been researched. Uh, unholy nexuses between the two disrupts the idea of any services that are being provided to people. It leads to corruption and misallocation of resources. Uh, adequate measures should be taken to curb this unholy nexus, but cooperation between the two should be there. The last question. What is this concept of direct benefit transfer? So direct benefit transfer has been suggested in the recent times to prevent the uh, transfer through various middle channels to the people and instead following up a digitized uh, identity authentic uh, transfer to the people. This is already been done in respect of some of the subsidies. Can you think of one or two examples? Sorry, sir, I'm not able to. Okay, that's right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. How much uh, saving this uh, DBT has brought about to the government? Sorry, sir, I'm not aware of the figure. 80,000. Okay, this is the Prime Minister's statement. Thank you, sir. How many Jandan accounts have been opened so far? Sorry, sir, not aware of the figure. No? No, sir. Are you reading newspapers? Yes, sir. Did you check? Take a look at the budget. Yes. Sir. Budget says in the last five years, 34 crore, 34 crore has been opened. Do you not read it? Sir, I'm not reading the figure. What is the constitutional provision which governs the relationship between NG and the state government? It says Article 239 AA. Double. Double. Now, last year, Delhi government, our government announced a budget claiming, claiming that they are making huge allocations to health and education. How much percentage of the GDP did they allocate for these two subjects? Sorry, sir, not aware. No idea. What is this uh, controversy about NRC? in Northeast. <clears throat> so NRC is a national register of citizens. Recently the Supreme Court has mandated that the people uh, who are legal citizens of India, their register should be made in the NRC and uh, the process should be expedited so that illegal immigration uh, could be curbed from the Bangladesh. So then what happened? How many people were excluded? So sir, 40 lakh people were excluded. Were excluded. 
So then there was a furore, then again some uh, issues have cropped up. What is Supreme Court saying now? So uh, the, for, the exclusion of 40 lakh people is on the ground of them not having the right documents. So time was given to the Assam government to further uh, to uh, start the process once again. Yes. So what is the final date now, Supreme Court? Sorry, sir, matter of fact. You read it. Right. They have given June and July. Now, social economic justice, right? Um, what are the provisions in the constitution which are enforceable provision, enforceable for promoting social economic justice? Give some provisions. Can I think so? Yes. Under Article 15, where affirmative action. 15. Uh, you just give the provision. 15, Article 15, you are right. 16. 16, 15, 16, excellent. What else? Article 23. Why 23? Uh, regarding the trafficking. Very good, 23. 24, regarding child labor. Child labor. Good, excellent. You are doing well. Yes. What else? These other things. Hmm? I am able to be contracted. But over 17, 18. Yes, sir. Article and 17. Disability and disability and abolition of titles. Yes, sir. Yeah, Maharaja and yes, sir. Yes, sir. What about 73, 74 amendments themselves? Yes. They sir. also provide justice or not? Yes. Sir. How? Because they uh, improve. Give reservation to women yes. and. The back, tribute class. Right. Now, what is ICDC? Integrated Child Development Scheme. I see, yes. yes. So, Integrated Child Development Scheme aims at providing the uh, basic services of health, nutrition, and basic education of 0 to 6 years to children through Anganwadi services and auxiliary midwives. And also for women, also? Yes, for the pregnant and the lactating women. Right. So, have you, you said you read the budget. How much allocation is there for ICDS now this year? So 50 percent has been there. There has been an increase of 50 percent with regard no, to the no, salaries. No, 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 no. You have been good. Sorry, sir. I will read. Only 18 percent. Sorry. So I'm what is the total amount? Such. Uh, all right. You do. You have done read. You read. Yes. What do you read? Sir, I read a poetry and fiction, uh, non-fiction books. Non-fiction, yes. which is the latest you read. So the latest I've read is Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. Sapiens by? Yuval Noah Harari. Okay. What does it say? So it says about the evolution of human beings. Mm -hmm. So from uh, right from uh, the uh, when the humans were evolved from the apes mm -hmm. to the superhumans that we are envisaging through the advancement in technology. Mm -hmm. This the book details about how sapiens have evolved over the years. Over the years. Yes. And when did this change take place that from uh, from uh, from us uh, uh, we became a thinking people yes sapiens when did this change take place how so, many years ago uh, so i don't remember the year but it was a cognitive revolution which took place which made a sapiens a thinking uh, species and distinguished it from the other animal species now does it in any way Use the Darwinian theory or contradict Darwinian theory? Yes, sir, it does use the Darwinian theory of natural selection. Mm -hmm. However, because of the cognitive revolution, human beings gained an edge over the other species and therefore their survival became much more, uh, more chances of their survival took place. And what poetry do you write? Sir, I write all the kinds of poetry but mostly on the observation poetry. Name some poets which you write. So I followed John Keats, mm -hmm. Rupee Kaur in the recent times, then T.S. Eliot, mm -hmm. these things. Which poem of John Keats is your favourite? Ode to the Autumn. Ode to Autumn. English literature was in subject. That's why you like all this, right? Good. So we close the interview here. I will give you a little feedback. You have performed very well. You have been able to handle most of the questions nicely. We we assess that your main interview, your interview would be largely based on your depth mm -hmm. and on current affairs, constitution issues, and Supreme Court judgments. That is why we have asked you questions 
since you're from Delhi, we have asked you questions on Delhi. There is the like safety, water problem, you say, uh, state government relationship with the LG, what uh, has been the tussle. Then uh, you check about this budget, etc. Yes, then current affairs, you I think you take a second look at the budget. Budget provides a lot of information about the welfare programs, the like Sobhagya, electrification, etc. Ujjala, Ujjala, all this is contained. It's just about three, four pages, but then it has a very lot of good information. And also on social welfare programs, and especially women uplift. Then we have asked you about your correct uh, your hobbies, and you have uh, given the absolutely correct replies. It's very good. Uh, in uh, current affairs, I would suggest you should also take a look at important things like America has walked away from the nuclear treaty. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Putin has also known that we are also scrapping it. What is this treaty? Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Treaty. And what is why are they? What is the reason that they are acting like this? Then Venezuela, Huawei, these are some of the important areas. So, this part you should take care of. Current affairs are important. Take care of it carefully. Supreme Court's major judgments say some of the important things. 377 privacy, etc. All of them are very important. Like 497. Then there is a, the Supreme Court is dealing with cases like surveillance. On computers yes. and uh, low power bill, it's dealing with the <coughs> 1100 encounters in UP. Yes. These are some of the important issues. This particular of the happening, I'm sure you will be able to handle the interviews. Okay. Right. Thank you. Good luck. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update.